So here we are with the ten dimensions and the functioning of mind. Here we have the coaxial signal. Remember, like a TV aerial socket. The incoming signal, the outgoing signal. The dark energy, the prana, the life energy, the dark energy. Coaxial signal. It comes in and gives us a sense of identity, of i -ness. It flows back out, returns and it gives a sense of unity. But there's this flow of consciousness, of energy flowing in and out. It flows in the individual and then out through, through, through everything and everybody. And so we have a point here. As I've said before, this is a breast in, in, in the infant mind. So we see the point and it moves and it moves and it forms a line. Now this line represents a tunnel. We see that as a tu the tunnel entoptic. So each of these is an area of our minds, of our brains. And each of these numbers represents an entoptic, a pattern we see in our minds. This is a universal language in these entoptics amongst children in primitive tribes. The breast, the circle with a, a dot in the middle. The point, the point moves and forms a line. The line is a tunnel, the feeling that you're sliding down a tunnel. The tunnel in the usual near-death experience when the system is being turned off. Every sphere or brain area has an input and an output. Now the input here, as I said, this is the moving brain, the left hemisphere. So we see things moving. Now this gives the rise to the conscience. We have a consciousness and awareness of the future course of the action of that movement. You know, like Newton's laws. Every object will continue in its movement. We see its course. This gives us the idea of, of conscience. That input of energy is then conscience. And the output of energy, which is back into the group, is, our per is the personality and that is the perfectionist so we see what is right then we we're the perfectionist we want it to be done a certain way so this is a natural function the conscience and the perfectionist they say the line moves and forms a face the surface and that is a bust it's head and shoulders a face which obviously in the, in the infant is the mother Generally speaking, it's just the surface of any object that we want to identify, but at the maternal level, obviously, the deep relationship with the mother, and so with other, every other person. So here we have the, the input of the face. We can read the face, whether we're going to get fed from the breast. This is the triangle, or eternal triangle here, through which we get trained, and obviously which we can train others, or machines. So we have the input, which is basically reading the faces, which we call the intuition. An intuition we mirror. We mirror each other's feelings and sensitivities. We just mirror the wisdom of the great mirror. This is the input. And then the output becomes the empath. The, you know, the personality is the empath. The mother, the empath. Being empathic. Giving. Being a sister, assisting, assisting one another. Number two, come to three. Now three is the wave entoptics, which is normally concentric circles. We see ripples, ripples radiating out. The wave entoptic, ohm, the space, which we identify with smell. Here we have the input is smell, which identifies the home, the position. And the output is being diplomatic. You know, we smell fear, we smell trouble. So we're di diplomatic, we're at home, we control the situation. This is the diplomat. Come down to the four, which is time. And this is the clock. These are the hands of the clock. That should be a bit long, it should be the minute hand, and that's the hour hand. But I'll do another video on the clock, because obviously it's not the way we run it. Or we are taught, shall I say. 
This is a clock. The four is a clock. The four represents time. Now the input. Let me just step back a bit. Here, you see, we have the flow of fluid. So we have the flow of fluid in our body, which is basically the, you know, the bladder and the kidney. So we use scent marking with the urine, the, the water coming out through the bladder. And, and the kidney is like the function of the diplomat, to be diplomatic and to control the situation. To feel the whole atmosphere con in the in the space, and then the bladder, the scent mark in the perimeter. You know the male aggressive territory marking. And we come to the four, which I've said is time, the clock. Now here, the clock is the lungs and the large intestine. The lungs is the input which is hearing which is the voice we hear the output is the large intestine oh, so the lungs are rhythmical breathing that's the timing thing they're the rhythm and then it's the large intestine which is regularity your bowels being regular regularity so there's the two rhythms the regular fun function of the bowels of the large intestine this is the, and the, so this output uh, is the the officer. You know, sometimes can be extreme, can be a control freak. But it's been an officer, being a manager, controlling the time. Let me come down to five. Now five is an eye. See, it's the eye with the eyebrow above it. Just our stylized way of drawing it comes like this. Because it was the eye of a Horus. Which is Egyptian, this is Hindu. So the five is the eye. So the, the eye, the input, is, is um, desire, I suppose, to fancy something or someone. And then that's the observer, you know. Sorry, the output is the observer. So we we see with the eye, and then the personality of the observer. This can be a good and a bad trait, just being an observer. But obviously, we should be observant and be observant of our other personalities, because this shows our multiple personality and how we also function as a group with different personalities in that group. And we come to number six, the anticlockwise entoptic, spiraling, well sorry, spiraling up, the anticlockwise entoptic, spiraling up, the ascent entoptic, going up, pressure, pressure, going round and up, pressure, convection. You rise the sense of touch. So we have the touch as the input, and then the output is the gardener, the gentleman, the gentle touch, the gentleman, the gentleman gardener, the gardener who's sensitive to touch, the germinating seed. Come across here, we have number seven, and this is just the angle of the objects. Remember, seven is the object, which is a rigid. Uh, pressure map. Yeah, we have the angles of the objects we feel. Zigzag and topic. So we see the zigzags. Objects. So the input here, remember, is the taste. So the output is the scholar. See what it means? Officer, scholar. Gentleman, diplomat. Characteristics of the personality of the integrated personality. Input taste, output scholar. Input catalog of objects, output knowledge of all the different parts available. Then we come to eight. 
Eight is the knight, or the hunter, the hunter really, the hunter. But it's the knight as well. It's a romantic, it's this sexuality in the human. Or sexuality in all creatures, in all creatures with this structure. You know, the energy, the, eter the eternal, that's a flame, it represents fire. There's fire of sexual desire, but the fire of energy. The polarity. Polarity. <laughs> <coughs> the endless <coughs> polarity. <coughs> so here we have the input is being heat sensitive and the output is the knight or the hunter. So the hunter is sensitive to the heat. The knight is sensitive to the woman on, on heat. So, But the hunter He's like got got night vision. He can see the heat from his prey. It's like a snake. And then the clockwise spiral to go down and come down. We see this as gravity coming down into a position. This is like the real world with all these points, with everything coming back down into position. So here we have the input my gone blank well the output's the actor so that's right the input is the posture the output's the actor so the input is the posture the position we're in and then the output is what actions follow on from that posture this is the essence of body language, isn't it? What's the position going to lead to? You know, every work, every, you know, kata, every, you know, in karate, every um, different job or function starts off with a certain trained position. And then that trained position makes you able to act, perform that action in that position. This is the nine, the, the clockwise entoptic which is a G, which is little like a G, it's for gravity.